Oh, if it's one thing ain't another, see so how she goes. You know, this thing hasn't had storage since it was put away in 1992. 30 years I finally had a roof over its head. Gotta get the Oldsmobile closer and we'll just jam the fucker. Let's see if we can knock it out onto the side. I'll be gentle. Good. Now I can just set her down and just uh, spray the fuck out of them lug nuts and never outs. That's been uh, hasn't been touched for three decades. One check mark off. A million more to go. The following program is rated TVMAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Well, now that I can get in here better, spray this shit. Let it soak in there for a little while. Now, I tried pulling the latch on inside the car. So the latch, the cable, it does move, but this doesn't. That could be the result of the hinges are just seized or the locking mechanism is seized or a combination of the both. So I'm gonna take the grill off and see if we can just uh, work that loose. Simple mathematic and logic and philosophy. I took this jack handle, like the screwdrivers, I put it in there, had some weight hanging on the end, and as I pulled the cable on the inside, just pressed it up as I was pulling the cable, so it fucking worked, that's all that matters. Oh man, fucking A. Clearly mice have made this a hotel, but I've seen worse. Well, the good news and there's bad news. Good news is there's a motor. Bad news is, well, the part of the distributor's got, got touched. So, I'm just, I would say, just drop another distributor in there. Couldn't hurt, I think that'd help. So it's not like I could theoretically start this car right here. Not at, not as it stands, but yeah, at least it's got battery connections unlike the last fucking car. I've replaced many distributors, it's not a big deal. Let's see what's under that air cover. Some nice evidence. Uh huh. Well, mice have gotten into it. At least into there, I mean. Is it seized? 
Eh, probably not. I mean, I mean it's some. I'm have to see about getting a distributor for this thing. Yeah, I got the mask on. We usually do that for cars in these type of situations. It's better to be safe than sorry. Especially me doing the whole cleaning and shit. There's a bunch of debris underneath the hood anyway, so... Might as well. Well, upon initial inspection though, the, the, I don't see any evidence of like... Not right away, but... If we ignore the fucking distributor part, I don't see too many wires or... Evidence of mice chewing wires or that type of shit, so... Right off the bat, it's nah, not too many red flags. You know, the carburetor, well, the butterfly valve moves. But I think we're going to start about turning it over some more. Like I said, I went underneath and I got to turn a couple inches. So let's see if we can do a better job on top. I guess that counts as a yes, even though it's not much. I'd say it's probably got about two and a half quarts in the pan. Black as sin. So with these yellow lines I've been putting on every, uh, I don't know, 10 inches, I probably got the motor turned over maybe once, just by going by, you know, only got so much on camera in between shots, but I got the turn over about once, you know, I took the air cleaner off, so... Let's see if this thing is uh, seized. Oh yeah, it's a two barrel. Typical, I mean, you could get a four barrel on these motors, but you wouldn't expect that on a Mercury. A Mustang, yeah, but not one of these. Hey, got some movement. I know what I'm gonna do. Why not? You know, this motor would probably turn over a lot easier. I cut the belts and took the spark plugs out. But the fact that it can turn over with all that handicap on it is a good sign. Oh man, what a job. It's crude, but it works. Yeah, it's bottomed out. Well, you look at that, we've got about an inch and a half of coolant. Yeah, that's something. There's still some sort of fluids in it. Yeah, let's check the transmission fluid. Oh, we got all the transmission fluid. Settled at the bottom, you know, because it hasn't ran in forever. But it's clean and red, so that's good. I gave it some more oil, some more penetrating fluid. Let's see if we get this hood to fucking go up and down like it used to.
One arm. Check mark that off the list. So we'll just keep having at it. Before you know, we'll be driving this thing in no time. Hey, I'm optimistic. Remember, the Valdez wasn't any better either and had nothing. This has got a title, it's got keys, it's got batter cables, it's got all the fucking nine yards. It's just minus a distributor. Big fucking deal. That's why I'm hopeful about this car. It's got more than what the Valdez did, and that thing runs like a haunted, haunted shithouse. And this is going to run just as bad in a good way, Uncle Buck style. You got tires. All four sides. Because what I had before was so fucking violent and gnarly, you couldn't get it off the flatbed. I'd be pushing, and the guy was jerking on the, on the bottom. That was the only way to get it on flat earth. At least now with this, you can actually make it mobile, so I could push it out of the garage and start working on it on the outside, so I have more room to work that way. And where I got these tires from? Let's just say it's a story of my life. I robbed Peter to pay Paul. I do that more times than I care to count. But it's necessary. We're going to get this car rolling. It's the first order of business this time around. Because I want to get this car mobile somewhat. I want to start hacking off the list. And we don't even have a fucking little bottle, airplane bottle of pass the time today. Ain't that a bitch. You know, this, uh, these wheels come off a GM car, right? And this is a Ford product. You learn something new, I guess. I'm capable of learning shit every day, and I learned that uh, Ford wheels will bolt on the GM wheels. I guess those two are interchangeable. One of the reasons why I like GM and Ford. They kind of got enough going with each other where a guy, you know, can do both. You know, flip flop back and forth. That's what I do with Ford and GM. They're not all that different. Do the rears now. celebrate. Ain't that a bitch? Especially now would be nice. Well, I do have a peppermint oil extract bottle I could swig. Yeah, I'd give it a try. Worst, could, worst case there, it tastes like eating a thousand candy canes. However, there's a little tidbit of information for you guys. If you can't drink booze for whatever fucking legal reasons, go to your little local bakery store and go find some vanilla, vanilla flavor extract. Swig some of that, I'll get you fucked up. But you didn't know that. Next up. Ugh. Well, now I can start cleaning on the inside here. Get the, all the doors open wider.
Next up, we gotta do the door hinges. I got ATF in this whole oil squirter, so. And the door makes like a, a banging noise when you open and close it. Either it could be lack of lubrication or it's just gapped. We'll fix that soon enough. Gotta work it in, you know. You know, I thought the frame might be tweaked a little bit, how it, you know, sat on that car for 30 years, but you can notice the body lines are still good, which is a good sign. Maybe the frame was a little bit tweaked, but not enough to affect the body lines. Good sign. And that, that that banging noise already went away, so it's probably just really, really dry. And the interior is looking good too. I mean, it's not the best, but it's a lot better than what it used to be. Some mice action, but it was very limited. Pulled out a few nests up in the headliner, but that's typical. Yeah, I used up as much as my uh, portable vacuum could do. It was battery powered, so got as much as I could done with it. Now both doors make that creaking noise. Hear that? See if I can fix this. Same way as the other side. Ape shit on the ATF fluid here. Work it in. That stuff works pretty quick. Yep. Well, obviously this door is fucked. It got rammed in by something, but the door, the gaps are still good. Would you look at that? Uh, big improvement. Very impressive. Looking a lot better. Considering what it was a week ago. And no one give a shit about this car for 30 years. Like I said, I like the patina on this. I might just keep it as is, but dye the interior black. Everything else will be Uncle Buck. <laughs>